Grace and peace. I am Reverend Brian Musser, the Baptist Campus Minister at Drexel, and this is Peace and Power Bible Study, the peace of Jesus Christ to change your life, the power of the Holy Spirit to change the world, and we are talking about the good news. The gospel is good news for every person and every part of life. And I've, we've been working around how the gospel impacts our life's purpose this week. We are going to take some time to look at what our purpose would be in relation to what we find in Scripture. Last video in this series, we talked about how the purpose of humanity is to glorify God. But what does it look like to glorify God as we deal with Scripture? So first, let's look at some specific passages, starting with Genesis 1, 26 through 28. Then God said, Let us make man in our image according to our likeness. They will rule the fish of the sea, the birds of the sky, the livestock, all the earth, and all the creatures that crawl on the earth. So God created man in his own image. He created him in the image of God. He created them male and female. God blessed them, and God said to them, Be fruitful, multiply, fill the earth, and subdue it. Rule the fish of the sea, the birds of the sky, and every creature that crawls on the earth. And then moving to chapter 2, verse 15, the Lord God took the man and placed him in the Garden of Eden to work it and watch over it. So starting with our purpose, it would be interesting to see what God, the creator, our creator, the creator of humanity, says about our purpose. And in these verses, we see that God's idea of why we are here has something to do with taking care of his creation as his ambassadors on earth. We are looking after what he has made for us. So that's the first piece. Now, Jesus has some things to say about this as well. Looking and turning to Matthew, we see people ask Jesus, what is the greatest commandment? And Jesus answers them with this. He said to them, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. This is the greatest and most important commandment. The second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. All the laws and the prophets depend on these two commandments. So as we see in the very beginning, we could have summed up our purpose on earth as taking care of God's creation. Jesus says part of what we need to do is love God and love others. And this is interesting. It would be easy to see how we can show our love for God by taking care of the things he made and show our love for God by loving those around us that are also in a loving relationship with God. So loving God and loving others is all incorporated in this because everything around us is something that God has made. So, so caring for creation, loving God, loving others, moving to the next scripture, which we often know as the Great Commission, Matthew 18 through 20, some of the last words Jesus said to his disciples here on this earth. Then Jesus came near and said to them, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe everything I commanded you. And remember, I am with you to the end of the age. So think about this in light of the great commandment. This is the great commission. We are to make disciples, teaching them them what Jesus has taught us. And what has Jesus taught us? And there's a lot of pieces to this. Actually, it's kind of interesting that you could look at the book of Matthew as an answer to that question. What has Jesus taught us? The entire book of Matthew. So teach them that. But if we wanted to sum it up, what are we supposed to make disciples by teaching people to do? Love God and love others, which is also tied to the fact that we are to care for God's creation. So, so we see this coming together in a purposeful way. 
Next, let's look at 1 Corinthians 10.31. Therefore, whatever you do, whatever you eat or drink or whatever you do, do everything for God's glory. This directly ties into Little's quote in Chariots of Fire that whether he was serving in China or running, he felt God's pleasure and he was doing it to glorify him. Well, as we do what we do, and we know that making disciples, loving God and loving others, caring for the creation, all kind of ball it up into one is what glorifies God. So everything we do, eat or drink or whatever, needs to somehow be wrapped up in those ideas, caring for the creation, loving God, loving others, making disciples. And finally, we look at this one, 2 Corinthians 5, 17 through 21. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, there is a new creation. Old things have passed away, and look, new things have come. Now everything is from God who reconciled us to himself through Christ and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. That is Christ. That is in Christ, God was reconciling the world to himself, not counting their trespasses against them. And he has committed the message of reconciliation to us. Therefore, we are ambassadors for Christ. Certain that God is appealing through us, we plead on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. He made the one who did not know sin to be sin for us so that we might become the righteousness of God in him. So as we're looking at this creation, we're supposed to care for creation. <coughs> we're supposed to love God, love others. We're making disciples. Everything we do can glorify God. And as we put all those things together, because of sin, that's kind of hard. Sometimes it's hard to see others loving God and loving others. Sometimes it's hard to make disciples. But all this happens when we start reconciling others to Christ as we have been reconciled. So our purpose on earth, first and foremost, right here and now, is to start reconciling others to Christ as we have been reconciled. As we do this, we will be making disciples. We will be loving them and loving God through this process. And as we make them into disciples, they will start loving God and loving others. And all this will help us as a united humanity, as more and more of us are reconciled to God, to once again re-engage our primary, our, 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 our initial call to God as caring for his creation. Caring for creation, loving God, loving others, making disciples by teaching them what Christ has taught us, reconciling the world to him. All this, as we do all this, everything we do should be wrapped up in that, giving glory to God. What is our purpose in scripture? That would be a good way to sum it up. As always, there are two ways to join this conversation live Monday night, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time via Zoom and these weekly wrap ups on YouTube and WordPress. I am trying to be all over social media, Instagram, TikTok, Fit, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, WordPress, YouTube. Those links will be in the description. I really enjoyed talking to you and hope to see you again sometime soon. Grace and peace.